Hey guys, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Thank you guys so much for your constant support. I, it means the world to me. I genuinely appreciate it. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit the link in my description to get a copy of what we're talking about today, which is Pep Talk Prayers. It is my book. It is on, it is on Amazon Prime. I have a link that you can get straight to it. Don't forget, guys, I have a free PDF um, ebook. It is called God Told Me to Move. Now what? And I have a video to go along with it to do a breakdown as well to kind of supplement after you check it out. Again, all free. And I'm currently doing a free giveaway because this channel, thanks to you listening, we are at over a half million views, guys. That's incredible. I never thought that could happen uh, in this particular space, but it's all because of you. I just thank you so much for that. And so I made a giveaway. I want to give away my company, Jazzy Brand, a Jazzy Brand Bundle. That'll include journals and merch and some other cool things, mustard seed, prayer cards. And I want to be able to give that to you guys. So please, please, please also sign up for that as well. And I will announce a winner once I do the drawing. Okay. So today, guys, I want to talk about a section in my book. It's actually on page five and it is called A Real Connection. I'm going to read the excerpt to you and I'm going to give you a quick pep talk to go along with this prayer so that you can just take this and sit with it for the day. Just know for the next three weeks, I will be doing three of these a week. So there will be nine episodes around pep talk prayers over the coming three weeks. Okay. So I hope you can get as much as you can in this space. I'm committed in 2022 to give you guys as many tools as I can so that you can really, really transition and transform into your authentic purpose. Okay. So here's this one. It's called a real connection. It is so easy to do everything with God like we do everything else, quote unquote, business as usual. In order to see the goodness of the Lord in your life on the highest level, you have to do what you would do when you really want someone. And what do you do when you want someone? You invest in them. The time you invest with the Lord will determine how solid, how real, and how lasting the connection with him really is. So this is about a real connection. And I'm going to tell you, even when God led me to write this, I was stepping on my own toes because I was a bit embarrassed. Now, I'm going to tell you about me. I struggle with writing a prayer book. I'm not a perfect person, but my mouth just, you know, cussing and stuff like that. I still struggle with that sometimes, believe it or not. And I was having such a great heaviness on my life and on my heart about that because the enemy was trying to muzzle me to tell me that I wasn't good enough and I was inadequate because I did not, I couldn't get past my shortcomings. It was almost like, you know, even when I felt convicted and I tried to be, you know, I was going through repentance and again, falling off and getting back on, falling off and getting back on. I think that it was causing me to feel disconnected from God. And what I had to see in that revelation was you have to approach your relationship with God like that kingdom spouse you're looking for. You have to approach that relationship with God like that business person you're trying to get all that money from to keep your business afloat. You have to invest time in them. Y'all already know the drill. You see it all the time on TV or in real life if you're in big business right now. When you see these people make big acquisitions, they go ahead and wine and dine people. They spend a couple bucks on them. They take them to a nice restaurant, right? They go golfing with them. If you're on a rich level, you're going to do all of these cool things because you are trying to get that person's attention, aka an investment. So what I lend to you today in today's pep talk, what are you investing in God so that you two can have an awesome relationship? The same way we do flowers and candy in the same day, the same times, um, excuse me, at the same time we're doing, you know, cuddling and all of this stuff and we spending the time and we watching the TV and we FaceTime and watching the movies and Netflix and all of this. What are you doing with the Lord? How are you spending that time with him? Because you want to know something? There's something called an ROI. Your ROI is based on what you do in order to get it, which is a return on your investment. What is your ROI when you're thinking about your relationship with the Lord? Are you making that a full investment? Or are you, or are you only 
talking to him when you want to be bothered. Now, don't get me started because y'all already know. I, again, I can only talk from these places because I'm not on the high horse. I've been here. I, this is me having these poor experiences, being ashamed of myself, trying to figure out how did I allow this to happen and why haven't I done a better job of escaping this behavior? But it was because I did not commit as much time as I was supposed to with the Lord. And even now, right now, 2022, I still have my struggles. That's why I'm careful about saying I'm a this and a that. I'm just a person who genuinely is called to help you to live your authentic purpose. That's my purpose. And I want to help you get to yours. And if you know yours, I at least want to help you see what you're called to do in this season. Because what I believe is this, and this is just my personal belief. I believe that we have a purpose in our lives. And we know what that is. I believe, you know, deep down within, you know, we can, God will reveal that to us. But I do believe in some seasons you're called to different places and called to do different things. So you may feel that you have a purposeful existence, but you might be feeling like God is shifting you to go to another place. Like God might say that your purpose is to help kids. I want you to help the youth. But in one season, he might call you to help the youth in Africa. And another season, he might call you to help the youth in Philadelphia. But your purpose is still to help the youth, but you may be called to a different set and a dip, different group of youth in another season, right? So that's why a real connection is so important. And I want you to sit with that today. Could you be investing more time with the Lord to get a better return on your investment? Or could you be putting yourself in a position to feel disconnected from God because you are not pouring into him the way you need to be? I hope that blessed you guys today. Stay tuned. We have many more of these coming up in the coming weeks. And again, it is Pep Talk Prayers by me, your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. And I am wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose.